Hi, this is Kendrick Johnson with uh, worldmedicalschool.org. I'm here to talk about ADD, which is a subject uh, that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, this is a disease which uh, I share many of the symptoms with uh, Justin Timberlake and uh, Jim Carrey and some of my other friends like, uh, let's see, Magic Johnson, Michael Phelps is pretty cool. Um, this is the classic uh, kid who talks too much in class, doesn't listen, doesn't get his homework done, and uh, usually is kind of button in line and causing problems. It's more common in males and usually presents between 3 and 13 and often runs in families. So the DSM-4 criteria I've kind of simplified here. you got to have these symptoms for at least six months, and you got to have six symptoms um, either in the inattention category or the hyperactivity, impulsivity category, which uh, we'll talk about in just a second. And the symptoms have got to show up before the seven years, and they've got to show up in two different settings, so at least like uh, school and at home. Um, it can't just be one or the other. And uh, it has to have significant impairment, so... So it makes it so uh, these kids don't function very well and, and uh, have problems in uh, social, school, or work work settings. And um, and we got to rule out other disorders. So the big numbers to remember are six for six months, six for six symptoms. Uh, seven is the age that you got to have uh, impairment by, and it has to be in two settings. So. The inattention category is the uh, area where the, the kids have a hard time just paying attention to details. They're making careless mistakes like leaving their name off their paper or not finishing a sentence. Uh, inattention while you're uh, working on homework or uh, playing a game. So uh, this, the kid might be in the outfield kind of uh, looking at birds instead of watching for the ball to come. And uh, poor listening, even when, when uh, somebody's speaking directly to them. Doesn't follow instructions, uh, but you got to differentiate this from the oppositional kids who aren't doing it because they don't want to. But these, these kids uh, may be willing to do the, the work, but they just kind of forget or weren't listening when, it was when they were told to do it. Have trouble out organizing activities. Uh, avoids uh, things that take a lot of brain power, at least for a long, long periods of time. Um, constantly loses things. Often uh, easily distracted, uh, forgetful in daily activities. So these are my symptoms here, but I don't have the hyperactivity symptoms. Uh, fidgeting, getting up from the seat, uh, running and climbing on things you're not supposed to climb on. Uh, at times you're not supposed to be doing that. Trouble playing quietly. Uh, parents will say they're always on the go. It's like they're driven by a motor. They talk excessively. Uh, teachers will say they're blurting out answers before the question is done. Uh, they don't wait their turn in line. They butt into conversations and into games that they weren't invited to play in. So they end up uh, getting in fights, and a lot of times people don't like them for these things. Um... So the subtypes, uh, there's the predominantly inattentive subtype, and uh, this is what we used to just call ADD, and I, I don't really understand the rationale for uh, renaming it because you can have, um, you can have, for example, uh, seven or eight inattention symptoms and no hyperactivity uh, symptoms, and you're still called ADHD, which uh, involves the hyperactivity. So. I don't know exactly why they did that, but I guess they figure this is all the same disease, um, even if you don't really have the hyperactive symptoms. And if you have uh, mostly hyperactive symptoms and, and none of the, or few of the inattentive symptoms, you're the predominantly hyperactive, impulsive type. And the ones that have both uh, categories of symptoms, those are the ones that usually show up uh, early on in life in the doctor's office because they, they're driving their parents, their teachers crazy. So on your differential, you got to rule out any kind of mental retardation, whether due to fragile X or, or other more sen subtle 
uh, mental retardation syndromes. Um, you uh, also need to rule out uh, sensory impairment. A lot of times these kids just don't hear well. You can't see the board, and so it seems like they're not listening. Um, lead poisoning you don't really see as much anymore. Uh, asthma, I don't know exactly how that ends up looking like uh, ADHD. Thyroid problems, you know, some, some of these hyperthyroid kids uh, get pretty, uh, pretty revved up. Or the hypothyroid may, may have a hard time uh, paying attention. Kids that don't sleep well are not going not gonna to pay attention in class. And the kids with the petite mal seizures are going to blank out for a second, and it seems like they're not paying attention, but they don't even remember it. So ask a few questions when the child comes in uh, just to make sure uh, that you know how the child is doing in school and at home. Uh, some of the pa parents aren't going to come in and, and uh, you know, tell you all these things. Uh, so make sure you're asking the questions. The Vanderbilt scale is an improved scale for, for kind of quantifying these symptoms. So for treatment, uh, behavioral modification is first line if the, if the problems aren't too bad. Um, so this is things like providing a real structure at home. Usually uh, schedule is important here, making sure you're getting up at the same time, going to bed at the same time. Right after school, you go and do your homework before you p watch TV. Um, so you keep a real schedule. Also, you keep the home really organized. Everything has a place. Try and uh, get some organization in the classroom as well. And uh, a lot of people are associating this with sugar and food additives. There's not really any uh, good research on that. But uh, I have some friends that swear that, uh, what was it, some, uh, some uh, red uh, food dye. I can't remember the one that was called they, they talk about, but some red food dye, they say, is absolutely associated with their uh, their kids' ADHD. Um, so that's it's up to you to try out, but there's no good research for it. The drugs, classically, we gave everybody Ritalin. Um, now I, I don't hear about people giving as much Ritalin, but more the Adderall, Stratera are pretty common from what I've heard. And uh, so these are all stimulants, methylphenidate, uh, dextroamphetamine, dextroamphetamine, and am amphetamine, adamoxetine, uh, pemeline. So uh, these are, you know, basically uh, like meth. They are stimulants. They make your uh, uh, make things go a little bit quicker in your brain. Uh, give you more energy in a lot of cases. So those are also in the side effect category too. You can get a little bit irritable have a hard time sleeping, you don't need to eat as much, so a lot of times the kids will not grow as well. And uh, tick disorders, which are uh, correlated or associated with ADHD, can get worse when you, when you give them these medications. So um, some of the Tourette's type syndromes uh, can be exacerbated by stimulants. Antidepressants can be used, um, as well as alpha-2 agonists. I don't know as much about that, but uh, apparently those are uh, also used in treatment, uh, especially if there is some uh, underlying depression as well. And um, thank you, Carolyn uh, Bonard Uchi, for your picture of um, Justin Timberlake. And if you would like to make uh, this a, a better program, uh, leave your comments below so we can uh, tell other people about the mistakes that are in the video as well as um, just suggestions for making it better. Um, you're welcome to, to say uh, that things that are going well as well so we can keep doing those. And uh, if you want to share the videos, that will help us to get uh, more people on board so we can make it a better project. And if you want to email at volunteer at worldmedicalschool.org, then uh, there's lots of things that you can do uh, from uh, PR to website design to uh, research or, or teaching if you want to. So 
Uh, let us know if you want to help, and thank you. We'll be back with more videos soon.